Aloha, suns and waters. I hope you all can hear me well. I wanted to be outside today for the reading. And um, for those of you that have been asking, the deck that I've been using is the Afro Goddess Tarot Arcanas. And it's the first edition. She does have an Instagram, but I think if you would type that in, you can find it on Google, all that information. But her artwork is amazing. I've actually been following her for years before her deck even came out. I just was so drawn to her artwork. And she was actually one of the inspirations for me to start painting again. So I feel like maybe, you know, some of you might need to check her out, check out her site and get some inspiration. I feel like a lot of you are creatives whether it's in music, drawing, poetry, writing, painting. And I feel like she has this aura to her that awakens your inner artist. So, yeah. And, you know, feel free to share art. Yes, look at this. I'm pulling Supreme and the Magician. Someone's tapping in. To their inner master I wrote something down earlier and it spoke of I my thoughts create my reality I am the master of my thoughts so someone has to remember that I feel like someone's thoughts needs to be put down on a paper or on a canvas something's coming up something's coming up and it has to be drawn out somebody has to see the picture or physically see these words written down because I feel like you've been holding the vision within your mind yeah somebody's been holding on to something Holding on to a lot of something I'm hearing. And it needs to be physically expressed. I'm even hearing in a, in a dance. Choreographing your dreams coming into reality. How would it look in dance form? That just gave me the vibe of how Hawaiians use hula as a form of storytelling and you know that's how it is in a lot of dances like ballet and whatever and I feel like somebody needs to do that and like I said even in a song whatever it is bringing it to life into the physical god of pentacles and that would take you to the three of pentacles So I'm seeing he um, heavy sharing of ideas, allowing people to bear witness of whatever this is. I'm even seeing self, like physically bearing witness of it. Something about teamwork. Because somebody's trying to balance their priorities alone. And this is like a team effort. Hmm. <sighs> the death card. So I feel like this is you teaming up with the divines teaming up with your spirit guides, allowing them to push through this transformation. I'm seeing like paperwork needing to be pushed through. Or I'm seeing someone like pushing a call through, like, yeah, let them in. You have to be calling out to the divines. You need them on your team, on your side. 
team effort with your guides, with source, God, whoever you're calling upon. Yeah, and then we have the star at the bottom of the deck as well. I don't know if you can see it. But, my bad if you can't. Both cards, her third eye is open. And her eyes are closed. She's feeling things out. I feel like this energy... I'm seeing a dragonfly right now. But I was hearing heavy about reading between the lines. And I did a video the other day about listening to your heart. And when I looked up reading between the lines, although I know knew what it meant, I just felt like there was like a bigger meaning and it was speaking about in order to read between the lines, somebody needs to listen. Someone needs to listen and feel it's something that can't be seen. And I'm seeing this as your angels and ancestors. You can't see them, but they're giving you guidance in other ways. So I just saw the dragonfly and then I just seen one of those dandelions the ones that you make a wish out of that's the star card wishes yeah push the call true somebody needs to i'm seeing a kid this could be your inner child i'm seeing a kid draw a picture and them showing it to someone And I'm seeing someone in your past when you were a child. But now I'm seeing you do the same thing because the divine sees you as their child still. So I'm seeing you draw this picture, create that dance, that song, whatever it is you do, that artwork. Whatever it is, because I feel like it's more than that. I'm even seeing like a skateboarder, someone um, building a game. seen a lot of shit so whatever it is you do i'm seeing you show it to the divines and them being so proud of you and them being aware that whatever this is that you're creating it's something that you want more of something that you want to see in your present moment in your future A siren far off in the distance so I feel like I just heard they're gonna be bringing it in quick but I'm also hearing there's like some sort of window and I'm hearing don't stall whatever this is you writing it down drawing it out whatever it is don't stall and don't worry about it looking perfect or whatever because like I said they see you as a child I'm seeing, like, you know, how children draw, but, like, the divines get it. They know what you mean. Like, if you were, were to explain it to them, I'm seeing you explain it to them. So this is what it is. Regardless of how it looks, and they're like, I got you. I got you. They want to bring your dreams into your reality. Somebody just has to make the first move. Ooh. So that fell off my lap, the three of swords. This sadness, whatever, whatever blockages there are, is off the fucking table. That should be nowhere in your dreams that you're wanting to manifest and bring into your reality. So even if it's just for the time being of your creating, you know, keep that space clean and clear for 
your g your dreams to come through none of this i'm hearing none of this and if you you find yourself slipping know that you're a master of your thoughts and regain go back to this go back to that ten of cups energy feeling content because you know it's already here and it's coming What is this reading between the lines about? The magician. I feel like it's once again seeing the bigger picture of what you're trying to manifest, what you're trying to take action, what you're trying to go off after. Knowing that this is exactly what the fuck it is. My thoughts create my reality. I am the master of my thoughts. Yeah, she's holding her sword. And that's her third eye open again. Three in a row. Hold up now. So three third eyes open. Eyes are closed. Third eye is open. And that's three major arcanas. And I'm seeing the number three as the empress attracting it in, being of that vibration for it to come to you. And it's coming. Hold the vibration. Hold that vibe. Hold that vibe. that vibe she's holding it even though temptations are lurking even though there may be restrictions or roadblocks along the way she's still holding that vibe and i'm also seeing it it's like she's making peace in knowing that things may not go according to plan But something is destined to be. Wow, the four of wands. Something is destined to be. This connection. This. I'm going to read it. As one of the most positive cards in the deck, the Four of Wands points to good times, good news, and joyful celebration. Peace, harmony, and tranquility reign as the number four provides the gift of stability to this happy couple. They dance in celebration underneath a wreath representing immense satisfaction of an obtained goal. The Four of Wands indicates a period of good fortune, satisfaction, and fulfillment. This card can easily point to marriage, birth of a child, birthday, graduation, or other important monumental celebrations. This is a time to get together with friends and family and share the good news. Wow. So that's beautiful, because where are we? April. Yeah, it's going to be like graduation soon as well. So that's beautiful. But I feel like it's bigger. The world. The world. Something coming back. Something coming back around. Alright, hit that like button. I love you all. Aloha.